Yes, well, he's been in full clown mode this morning. He's been full of nonsense and, well, eventually he's gotten himself to the kill and is feeding and this hyena is just kind of not getting involved at this stage. The last time the hyena ran in, which was just now while we were off air, he stood up to this hyena and he, he growled at it and hissed at it and didn't back down at all and just stayed on the carcass and kind of almost latched, lashed out and I think that little interaction now has meant that the Zayn is kind of a little bit more wary now of coming in and actually fighting with him because he's got, starting to get more and more kind of brave about it and standing his ground and not just running off every time Naina comes he's actually starting to sort of sit there and really try and kind of you know push back a little bit which is which is good so he's, he's kind of sending a very clear message that I you know that I'm not taking your nonsense anymore you can keep running at me but I'm gonna start standing my ground which is a good lesson that he needs to learn obviously when there was lots of hyenas around it's a different story but with one like this he needs to start doing this there's another leopard there's another leopard coming so Seb you see on the top there there's another leopard on its way I don't know who it is it looks like maybe Tingana yes no is it not is that Tandi who is that There's definitely another leopard. I can't see nicely who it is. It's just a very long way away that there's another leopard coming in. And this is going to be very interesting. I can't see who it is behind the tree. Ugh. No, it's definitely not Tingana. Mm -hmm. Who is that? Come on, turn your face to me. I don't recognize this leopard. Is it Shadulu? Oh, it's so far, I can't see nicely at all, but it's definitely another leopard that is approaching the area, which is absolutely amazing. Right, so we're going to take this to a wider kind of audience, and so I'm going to be quiet for a little bit. I wonder who that is. I honestly can't see well enough from where I am. Maybe some of you might have been able to get a screenshot. It's just way in the distance at the moment but tricky to see exactly who it is it's definitely not Tingana I know that uh, it doesn't have a dew love for Tingana also the way it's walking there it's coming around the termite mound you see it on the termite mound there Seb I wonder who this is it's definitely another level oh I can't see it's just too far out of my shot to be able to recognize who that is Who are you? There's a bit of snarling going on. Right, now I'm going to just hold off speaking as we start our unscheduled broadcast. Good morning everybody and welcome to a beautiful start to our day. As you can see, there is a leopard that is perched underneath a shady tree and is watching over another scene that is playing out. In front of that is a very fat, full hyena and the reason why is that we've come into this open area early this morning at around sunrise and there was a whole bunch of hyenas that were feeding off of a kill and you can see there is another leopard that is eating. So we've got two leopards on either side of a hyena with a carcass and so this should be really interesting. We know that this young leopard that's next to us on the kill is Hosanna, a firm favorite of our leopards in this area. We see him quite a lot, but um, the other one we haven't identified yet. It's still quite far off, and so I'm just trying to see a little bit better. My name is Tristan, though, and it is very warm welcome. Sebastian is on camera this morning, and we are coming to you live from South Africa, which means that you can ask any questions that you have. You can just post in the comments section below, and we'll try and answer as many as possible. So what's been happening is there's been lots of commotion with hyena and leopard going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, because there's been you know as the leopard walks in to feed so the hyenas run in and then it's kind of made a lot of noise and I thought well it might attract other hyenas which were here earlier but instead it's attracted another leopard and like I say we're still trying to get an ID on this leopard but it's very seldom that you see kind of two leopards in the same spot but kills do a very good job of attracting other leopards and so maybe just maybe this other leopard has come in thinking 
that it might be able to steal some food. I'm pretty sure that it's a female called Tandi, um, but I just can't see nicely enough to just be 100% sure. But I think it's her um, that is approaching this area. Now, Tandi, if it is her, is this young male's sister, but not of the same litter. She's much, much older than what he is. She's about 12 years old, whereas he's just approaching three now. And so she's, a, a, you know, a lot older female. And she can be quite aggressive and quite grumpy when she wants to be. And so sometimes you'll see her kind of snarling. And what she's probably doing at the moment is just sitting way in the distance, just watching what's going on and weighing up the sort of options as to what's going to happen and whether she's going to approach and try and see if she can get some of this meal or she's going to try and move away. Now, Kalina, you're asking, could it be Tingana's girlfriend? Well, yes, it's Tandi from that last pick that we got. It looks like her for sure. Um, that's there. And so then it is very much Tingana's girlfriend and you'll find that she um, has been around lately a lot more than normal. She's kind of been coming back as Tingana has been so vocal and has been scent marking. So she's pushed back into the central part of the Jume area. And like I say, she's she's one that used to bully Hosanna a lot of his kills in recent months. But lately he's kind of changed his whole approach and he's much more aggressive towards her and is bullying her a lot more now. And so that's probably why she's keeping her distance. She's just trying to see who exactly is who here and make sure that she doesn't run in and get herself hurt. So she's just going to sit at the back there and just watch for a little bit. Eventually she should approach a little bit closer. So Jonathan, this carcass is or kill was this morning sometime early hours of this morning it doesn't look like there's much left and that's because it looks like well there must have been 11 hyenas feeding off this kudu and they managed to kind of eat most of it and so all that's left now is the spine the ribs and it looks like two legs um, that are, are left over and all the hyenas have got huge fatful bellies and this male leopard has been waiting all morning to try and get to this kill and he'd walk forward and then the hyena would chase him and he'd walk back and then he'd come back and forward back and forward and eventually now he's been able to tuck in and the hyenas are actually leaving him alone but they haven't left all that much there's still enough nutrients though for a leopard to have a good feed he can kind of get some of the the intercostal muscles between those ribs and any bits of you know that are around the spine and he'll use that rough tongue in order to do it but isn't it incredible that we've got two leopards and hyena in the same sighting absolutely amazing to see it it's not something that you get to see every day i thought tundi might approach a little bit closer but i think she's a bit wary of what's going on Jade, yes, and um, unfortunately in this area there's a high population of both, um, and so hyenas and, and leopard interact almost daily across this particular area. Um, you'll find that leopards will obviously are, are good hunters and they'll bring down food and hyenas will try and rob them of that, but in the sort of counter to that is that hyenas also hunt uh, quite regularly everybody always thinks that they just scavenge but they don't they actually hunt quite regularly i'm pretty sure actually that the hyenas brought down this particular carcass i actually don't think it was the leopard that killed this he kind of arrived later i'm pretty sure that these well this animal was killed by the hyenas themselves and that's why they've fed so well and he's kind of then now come and scavenged off them but lots of interaction you'll find hyenas follow leopards around so if a hyena gets onto the scent of a leopard it'll actually purposely follow that scent in the hope that it maybe finds a bit of a meal that it can then steal from them so generally if you find leopards particularly really early in the morning or late in the evening often you, i would say probably at least 70 percent of the time a hyena will be somewhere during the course of your sighting will come past or be around and in, in the area so you find them a lot around here and lots of interactions between them over kills it's been quite fascinating watching how this young male got chased and chased and chased and eventually he started to get more and more irritated with the fact that he was getting chased and eventually stood his ground a little bit with the hyena and he growled and hissed and kind of ran at it a little bit and that's then left him alone now to feed so it just goes to show he'll learn all of these things and as he gets bigger and stronger so his bulk will be able to kind of um, push them away and, and keep other scavengers at bay. Now, Ellen, if Hosanna didn't recognize Tandi, would he run away? Um, probably not. So the reason why is that Tandi is a much smaller leopard than what Hosanna is, and so he'll see her from a distance. There, she's actually standing up now. So I wonder if she's going to come to our direction. So he's, she's much smaller. So he'll see her, he'll know she's not as big as him, and then also she'll, he'll probably sort of initially kind of look at her and then eventually recognize who it is. But look, there she's kind of coming through. Isn't that wonderful? Very, 
very cool. So she's just going to bypass that hyena, come round it, and then I think she's going to approach it a little bit closer. She does have a cub currently, a, a year-old cub um, called Clalamba, and Clalamba don't think is with her. We saw her from very far walking by herself before she kind of spotted anything. So she might have been on her morning kind of patrols trying to find food um, and trying to get a carcass for her cub and now she's heard all the commotion and thought well I'll come and check out what's going on in my territory but there she comes she's just walking you can see that tail now I wonder if she's just gonna bypass or she's gonna get a little closer Richard it is a good meal it's certainly fed a lot of mouths this morning because it's fed a leopard and 11 hyenas at this stage and so it's it's a big carcass it looks like an adult female kudu that has been brought down which is a lot of meat for for animals and so they make short work of it hyenas but there is really a lot now I wonder if she's going to approach any closer she's slowly but surely coming in at the moment so she's moving just in the background she's got her tail up so that's her telling everybody don't shout at me I'm not here to hunt anybody don't kind of give me away and she's going to slowly approach now the last interaction that we had between these two was over the weekend and on, I think it was on Sunday morning where they kind of had a bit of a standoff and then in the afternoon Tandi managed to kill a Nyala and Hosanna eventually ended up stealing it with the hyena and Tingana so we had you know four leopards on that particular kill which was quite something but at this stage I think she'll just come in and investigate who this is once she's investigated then she's going to start to kind of you know figure out who it is and then maybe move off but Hosanna hasn't seen her coming yet he's still just watching she's just behind the bush so she'll be watching who he is and slowly but surely she'll come in once she recognizes that it's him it would be you know he'll she'll probably get a little bit closer and he also won't mind too much Rian do I think she's come from the bushbuck hill so for those of you that don't know we have a dead bushbuck also not far from here about 200 meters from where we are at the moment that died just overnight randomly and it could be from a cold spell it's a, quite an old male that we've got and and so no I don't think so because I've just asked somebody that to check on it so Ali is back at uh, where we stay and it's right outside where we stay and apparently the carcass is untouched it's still sitting there so all of this drama over the scraps of this carcass when there's a whole animal that's lying in wait for any of them if they just walked in the right area they would be able to find it but she's slowly but surely starting to make her way and look look how she's just watching over the branches just seeing okay who is this here she comes very cautious in her approach Hosanna still has no idea that she's there. He's not been paying attention, which is not surprising because he's got a mouth full of ribs at the moment and he's busy eating. Look at that. How cool is that? It's so special when we get these kind of interactions between our leopards. We're in such an epic area for leopard viewing. The Sabi Sands has kind of become famous for its leopards and here on Juma we're very fortunate in that we get a lot of leopards roaming around and this winter has been incredible from leopard viewing. But look there she comes just slowly edging, just checking who is this individual. Is it a leopard that I can come and feed or chase off? Now, Chelsea, uh, I suppose you could consider leopard scavengers. They will readily scavenge on carcasses that they find. So even if they haven't killed it, they will feed off it. But obviously 90% of what they do is, is hunt on their own. Um, they will go after. So I suppose they can be termed a scavenger at time, but they generally are more predators than scavengers. So they will prefer to hunt their own things rather than kind of just finding carcasses. But they will readily eat off an already dead animal. I'm very intrigued to see what's going to happen here because between them they might actually even end up feeding off this carcass together which is very unusual and the reason why I say that is because the particular carcass that he's feeding on is a very 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 sort of big carcass that's been drawn out and so the skin and a leg is attached but it's about three meters from the rib cage so theoretically they would be quite far apart but they would still be able to feed off the same carcass which like I say is pretty unusual because normally you don't find leopards feeding on the same carcass at all and I'm wondering if she's just going to try and creep around a little further you see he still hasn't noticed that she's even there he's so busy eating Rima, probably not. Um, the hyenas are all so full at the moment, I don't think they can even move. There you go, he spotted her. So he spotted her now. 
he's realized, hang on, there's another leopard here. Now he's going to be very cautious because he knows that if there's a big male or a leopard he doesn't recognize, he could be in trouble. So that's, look how his posture has changed completely. Bolt upright, staring, sniffing, going to listen, and he'll just try and work out who this is. Now he's no longer afraid of his sister. He's definitely, look at him starting to drool now. You see the drool coming out? That's always an indication that a leopard is starting to get excitable and has realized that there's another one around. His ears are also flattening a little bit. Um, she's just sitting with her tail twitching at the moment. And I reckon he's realized who it is already because he's already sitting to start feeding. Lavina, there will be some communication with the tails. The tail twitching and wagging will indicate certain behavior to, towards others. So when a leopard is very aggressive, its tail will flick and sort of go back and forth in a very aggressive manner. When they're curious, you'll find that there's a little twitch to the end of the tail. So yes, the tail will definitely indicate some sort of communication between them. But there she is, you see, she's just stopping and looking. Now you would have heard a vehicle start. We are in an area where there is tourism, and so there's a couple other vehicles that are with us you're also enjoying this incredible scene of these two leopards together eddie yes they are playing i spy and i think they've both realized who is who at the moment because you can see there's no aggression in this reaction or in this encounter so both have kind of worked out okay i know who you are uh, and everything is now going to be fine hosan is going to carry on eating he's going to try and get as much nutrients as he can you can still see there's quite a bit of meat on that particular carcass that he can get and then Tandi is just going to watch and just see whether or not she can maybe get a little bit closer but I wonder if these two are going to end up on that bushback carcass by the end of the day there certainly will be vultures and things that will start landing soon and that's going to attract quite a lot of attention and wouldn't be surprised if one of these guys ends up going in that direction and taking it but she sees she's not looking very thrilled I think she was hoping that it might have been a female that she could have chased off. Tundi doesn't suffer any fools and is certainly not shy to be aggressive with both, you know, young females and young males. And so before she would have charged in and chased him off and eaten about about four months ago, she did exactly that. Um, she kind of chased him off his meal, but in the last few months, he's starting to realize that she's much smaller than him and he can actually dominate her. And so he's been doing the opposite to her in the last little bit right so i think we're just going to end up with a pretty much a sit down like this there's not going to be too much in the way of movement between these two cats i'm pretty sure the two of them are just going to find each other we'll find a little safe spot and he's going to eat and she'll just sit there and watch but it's been an absolute pleasure having you with us i hope that you've enjoyed this broadcast remember you can carry on watching on safari live if you just google it and we'll stay with them for as long as possible and if any action does start to happen we certainly will go live again but from seb and myself it's been an absolute pleasure and we'll see you all soon Right, well, isn't that awesome that we've got another leopard with us? It's very, very cool. Now, I'm trying to look at the camera, but I'm being blinded by this bright sunshine at the moment. So I do apologize if you see me squinting every now and then, or if you look, it looks like I'm crying. It's because my eyes are watering from the sun. But anyway, while we kind of reposition so I don't have to look into the sun, let's send you back across to the Bushwalk team. I wonder where Brent and them are and what their plans are for the rest of the morning.